Art is something that can impact or inspire us all in very unique and individual ways. Our Carol Lee McGrath spoke with artist and arts educator Dean Himmer to learn about his work using art as therapy. Art therapy would be uh, creating joy uh, and uh, it, enjoying the process of, of making art regardless of whether you have <clears throat> serious issues. It's usually referred to uh, you know, as a, a good therapeutic method uh, to deal with things like uh, PTSD and, and uh, traumas that, that people have. Um, but my view is that um, any stigma that's attached to it uh, is completely unnecessary because uh, all art making is therapeutic. And, uh, and people who make art, um, uh, there's a joy that goes with it. And, um, uh, but the beneficial aspects of making art are, are there for everybody. Uh, You've uh, had quite a career as an artist, um, 200 exhibitions worldwide, I believe you told me. Yeah. How did you get into um, using art to help other people? Uh, well, it's part of uh, the books that I've, I've written. This is Creating Abstract Art. Um, <clears throat> as a teacher, I've... Um, uh, employed some interesting and unusual methods of teaching, uh, having people paint blindfolded, uh, for example, to <clears throat> get over any issue they may have with uh, making something that looks like what, uh, you know, what you're painting and just go ahead and paint uh, to music uh, when you're blindfolded. Um, uh, shadow drawing um, and many exercises that uh, get help people get past the problem of is it art? <laughs> you know, um, there are so many things uh, that stop people from making art that are unnecessary. Um, and uh, you know, the definition of who is an artist: one who makes art. Uh, you know, so really, even with somebody who is so accomplished as you, like if I drew something, you would say, "Oh yeah, that's art." <laughs> I would. My my job uh, as a teacher is. Uh, absolutely positive encouragement mm -hmm. and uh, you know things like talent are so overrated you know um, some of the cliches are uh, I, I can't draw a straight line well use a ruler <laughs> there we go we just got over that hurdle <laughs> right over that but a lot of it uh, centers in uh, insecurity mm -hmm. you know is uh, is my work good? Talk about a little bit of some of the groups that you work with um, for the therapy. I know you work with veterans. Uh, tell us, how did you become involved in that? Yeah. Well, I teach uh, as an adjunct because I'm addicted to teaching, uh, but at uh, Holyoke Community College. And uh, uh, I teach in the evening, and that's uh, there's more adults who t take uh, these uh, classes. Uh, and one of my students is a vet who had uh, uh, very uh, traumatic experiences as a combat uh, vet. And um, uh, I don't set out to teach therapeutically, uh, but I encourage, you know, um, personal expression. And uh, so Steve uh, took both of my, uh, my painting one and my painting two class and he really felt that this was very therapeutic. Um, uh, and often, uh, even in official therapy sessions, people uh, tend to uh, want a description of, so what did you go through and why, um, uh, you know, to illustrate it. Uh, instead, I... Uh, work with projects that uh, encourage their creativity uh, and I think simultaneously they can um, uh, purge a, a bit uh, but also kind of get out of themselves. Brings them to a different place. One of the things I uh, particularly do is they uh, create an alter ego. So your alter ego uh, is somebody who doesn't care what you like or not. They just do what they want to do. Um, but uh, when you create an alter ego, you have to have a name of your alter ego. Mine, personally, is uh, uh, unique. Frederick. Uh, 
And um, uh, part of that is to let go of, you know, um, some of the things that you tend to feel hold you back. Um, anyway, this has become very successful. <coughs> it's very successful in that um, this veteran has started his own group working with uh, veterans and doing projects that uh, encourage creativity. And that's really the bottom line. All right, Dean Nimmer, thank you so much for coming in and joining us and telling us about um, just the therapeutic qualities of art. And I think sometimes people do overlook that, and we really appreciate you uh, sharing that with us today. Thank you.